Yeah. Court likes it better plain. <laughs> so likes the catnip, she likes it on the floor. And these things are scary, so we both take them on from the little bad things. She almost did just like, mm, no. So he went and spit them on the floor and she's biting into it. Attention everyone! <laughs> Rocky Johnson Fan Club President here with an official announcement. My dad is game to sign your body. Thanks for the catnip, Uncle Josh. family action figures. Professional wrestlers My info's on the card. Oh, Sparkle, you love guarding him because his skin is so soft. for hey, just because I shouldn't say it don't mean it's not true. But, I mean, come on. I can't go to bed earlier and miss time with the girls. They need me right now. And so did Mika. So, what was I supposed to say? No. Hell no. You never say no, which is a problem. But right now, your big problem is Tammy. You better watch the thong, Kane. Okay? What? Man, Tammy's not coming for me. Yeah, okay, I guess one for her, Tommy. If she's not coming for you, then why is she giving the whole crew muffins? Which highlights the point that you don't give nobody no damn muffins. I'm kidding. I don't bring muffins. I slap the muffin out your hands, and then everybody laughs. <laughs> yeah, if she gets an hour to herself on this show, it's a wrap. <laughs> Look, man, ask your broager. We have talked about broager. Come on, man, I want a special name. Mom's get mama jug, and you won't call me mama jug. Because you are childless and a man. And they call me manager. Damn it. Look, the point is, Tammy's coming for your spot, all right? She's been pitching segment ideas and going for a quadrant on her styling, and now the damn is <laughs> what I do. I got this. And I got the Tammy thing. Look, there is no Tammy thing. All right, get back up. I already got it. Now, the traditional autumn, I know I see you put a lot of orange and green on my face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do. Hey, well, oh, hey, Tammy. Hey, just, I guess I don't think that far ahead. What's she using my uniform tomorrow? That's right, Mew. 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 It's a man and meal. It's a man and meal. Two songs and three stories. A piece. And then we do a mind mill where I think of a number and we put our heads together, whichever one gets as closest to that number I love the most. It's always the time. In and out, 45 minutes tops. <laughs> you wanna know your problem? Oh, no, thank you. You're a pushover. Every couple's got one. It's balanced out by the tough one. So with Corey gone, you got no shot at saying no. I'm no pushover. Technically, she was the bad cop and I was the very well liked cop. You know how my dad got us to sleep? Held us down. That's it. Just held us down until we stopped squirming. That's maybe a song. No, the squirming is good. Tires you out. We slept like angels. Well, angels are technically dead, so... And you're not just a pushover with the girls. You can't say no to anybody without Corey in your corner. That's why your brother manages your career. Why Mika's got you up at 4 a.m. in the butt crack, and I've got my fingers all up in your meatball pan. Oh, okay, I might be a bit of a people pleaser, but it doesn't mean I can't be tough when I need to be. So I would like for you to put the girls down my way. Or... Not impressed at all. <laughs> She's not impressed at all. I'm pretty impressed. I've been to France. 